Yo, 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 what it do, man? This your boy, North End Floyd, man. And y'all already know what to do. Please like, please subscribe, please share the content. I appreciate y'all for showing love to the page, man. I appreciate everybody that's been subscribing and commenting and doing all those things and stuff. But this video we finna check out. I know it's millions of videos out there, but we finna check out. They say it's six insane, crazy videos of UFO sightings, man. These supposed to be legit videos, all right? So we finna check them out. We finna see how real they is and, and how legit they are, man, because, huh. We seen a lot of them, man, and you know we getting closer and closer to finding, you know, what I'm saying Earth-like planets and and all those type of things. So let's check out this video. Let's see what they talking about, man. And as always, I appreciate y'all for showing love, man. I hope y'all having a blessed day. Let's check out this video and see how they rocking right now. Today's video, we will explore some of the most bizarre UFO sightings that will absolutely blow your mind. All right, okay, blow our mind then. Yeah. 25 years ago, on March 13, 1997, thousands of people reported seeing strange bright lights flying over Nevada, Arizona, and part of Mexico for more than 12 hours. Damn, this, 12 hours? Later, came to be known as the Phoenix Lights, and those who witnessed the bizarre lights described them as otherworldly. And some witnesses, whose stories were shared at the International UFO Congress, reported a sort of temporary amnesia after seeing the lights. However, even among the UFO community, some investigators say there's not enough evidence to say it was a close encounter of the third kind, but there is not enough evidence to prove it otherwise too. But why talk about the Phoenix lights today after 25 years of the incident? Because the UFO sightings we're going to explore today are just as bizarre. Welcome to Lab 360. It is time to explore. Shout out to Labs 360, man. Y'all subscribe to the channel. On camera by a passenger on a plane looking out the window. This was filmed in June 2021. Watch how this thing shape shifts. What could this thing be? It's moving too crazy, the bro. Below. The next on the list is from July 2015. The location, Alamance, North Carolina. During 4th of July celebrations, a man notices a mysterious object in the sky. This could be anything, right? But here's when it gets weird. Watch this. Two things start to come off of it. And immediately afterwards, it splits again. What do you think it is? Let us know in the comments below. Moving on, the next in the list is from a place they where need the to start holding that camera history, steady. A place where the Renaissance started, Italy. If you look at some of the paintings from the era of the Renaissance, you will find yourself getting engulfed by curiosity. Flying saucers, UFOs. Is it proof that unidentified flying objects have been among us as far back as the Renaissance? Well, if you want us to cover this topic, let us know in the comments. A teacher at the Music Academy of Salento, Italy, spotted something strange in the sky in January 2017. In the film, a bright white spherical object can be seen in the sky, which appears to change shape, size, and color. It is unclear what the object is, but the video is said to be completely genuine untampered footage. What do you guys think it is? Now, hold on to your breath, because the next one is absolutely bonkers, and I don't know about you, but it blew my mind. Yeah. November 2020, The Place, Cornwall, England. While recording a beautiful sunset, a man captures something that has the scientific community baffled. A glowing UFO is seen moving horizontally across the sky, then, it levitates there for a second, and then shoots up into the sky at an incredible speed. Watch it again. Oh, that looked crazy right there. My inspiration oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, that's wild like that. I, uh, that's, that's a dope video. 3,000 feet in less than a second. Humanity has Damn. not achieved such a technological marvel as yet. Then what is it? Who is operating this thing? <laughs> Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Michio Kaku, an American theoretical physicist, said that the possibility of the craft belonging to an extraterrestrial civilization cannot be ruled out. What do you think it is? The next footage that we are going to show you will blow your mind. Because not only is this the strangest UFO captured till date, but it also shows the unidentified object split into two in real time as they were getting recorded. How could something fly in the air at massive speeds, zip through the ocean, and split into two? 
The next in the list is from April of 2013. The location, Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. The U.S. Customs and Border Patrol took off for a routine mission. Shortly afterwards, they saw a strange light coming towards them. Taken off guard, the pilot immediately turns on the thermal imaging camera. The million-dollar camera mounted on the plane immediately picks up the culprit. A metallic sphere, chafing the air, as it moves at an incredible speed. Then, as if the plot playing itself a cliché, the object heads over to the ocean. Let's zoom in, and get a clear understanding of what's going on in here. We can see here that the object splashes down, and disappears under the water for a split second. And then, something bizarre happens. The object remerges, but it's split into two. Let's watch it in slow motion. Goes in the water. Comes out. Listen to two. After staying in the air for some time, the object suddenly disappeared, never to be spotted again. When experts reviewed the footage, they found out that the thermal signatures of the object doesn't match with anything that we know of. No shit. Balloons, birds, drones, or even a man-made aircraft was ruled out due to the object's strange characteristics. Whatever it was, experts concluded it wasn't from any place here on Earth. The next in the list is from the capital of Hawaii, Honolulu. 2020 was a year that none of us want to remember. But under the cloud of the pandemic, some big events got shrouded in the mist of news. In one of a kind video from February of that despicable year, shows an Airbus, A320, soaring over Medellin, Colombia, over 30,000 feet in altitude, on a routine flight. The captain is about to experience something strange. As he points his camera out of the window, he sees a metallic looking object, flying past in a straight line. If we zoom into it, you can see that it looks somewhat like a cube. Scientists estimated its size to be 10 to 15 feet in diameter. What is really fascinating here is that in 2018, a similar unidentified object was spotted by an FA-18 fighter pilot. The pilot who took the photo, as well as the other pilot present, spotted the UAP cube hovering at an altitude of approximately 30,000 feet. The debrief said it's possible the UAP in the photo is some kind of military radar reflector or oh, research balloon. Man. Research the organization balloon. said it spoke with two defense officials, and they described it as having flight dynamics, uncharacteristic for a balloon. Facts, though. Most notably, the object was reportedly completely motionless, despite ambient air currents. What do you make of it now? I am not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. And these <laughs> bizarre UFO sightings hint that something big is at play here. What do you guys think? Aliens? Humans from the future? Secret government projects? Or just optical illusion? What do you think? Drop in your comments below. And if you enjoy watching our videos, do become a member of Lab360 and get access to some cool perks. Your support is what keeps us going. Also, if you have any interesting time. So what do y'all think, man? What do y'all think about these videos? Some of them videos was kind of legit, you know what I'm saying? As far as something different, like that that video with the 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 aircraft going over the water and then shooting up straight in the air. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Even the one they had, like, you know what I'm saying, the airplane with the going in the water and splitting in two. You know, some of that shit, you know what I'm saying? We see a lot of videos out there, bro, but these videos right here will kind of, it makes you question what's going on. So, hey, man, hey, y'all drop down below what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think this is legit or y'all think it's just some more shit that, you know what I'm saying, they trying to throw in our face. But until then, man, I'm finna get out of here, man. I hope y'all have a blessed day, man. I appreciate y'all for checking out the videos and the content and rocking with your boy. So until then, man, I holla. Be 100. Easy.